I'm going to give you a simple rundown of how to use Google Sheets in NADN. So you're going to start by opening up NADN and we have our Google Sheets here with some mock data. We're going to start with a trigger mail node. And then we're going to use edit fields. And Google Sheets. And there's a few options here, but today we'll just go over update row and sheet and we'll touch on append or update row and sheet briefly. We will start with the edit fields. What we're doing here is we're basically just pushing some data through the workflow. Doing that with the edit fields could be a form submission or something similar. Hit set mock data. Delete the placeholder. Okay, we will hit save. And that's now in our input to our Google Sheet. You can see here that in this situation, your data matches perfectly. So name, email, ID, name, email, ID, to Jason. First, set up your credentials. We're gonna use a sheet within a document. Operation, that we're gonna use update row. Now we're going to choose our document. And we need to choose our sheet also. For this Google Sheet, we only have one, so it could be info. Okay, we will start out with mapping automatically. First things first, you have to pick a column to match on. So we will pick a. So how column to match on works is it's starting out by looking at the the header of the column so name or email or id so what this is saying is since we picked name as column to match on it's going to look underneath the name column for a row either of these rows or both that matches the incoming data name kyle smith matches and it'll see that so we're going to give it a test. Oh, and a little bonus tip. You need to click out of the actual row in order to get it to work. It'll really piss you off being confused why it's not transferring. So a little bonus there. There we go. And you can see that just transferred right over. Perfect. Easy. But. It's not always that easy. When things don't match up perfectly, you have to use manual mapping, basically. So we're going to map each column manually now. So let's say that instead of name, it's names, the emails, emails, ID, IDs. We'll go back to map automatically quick so I can show you. We'll hit test step. Nothing happens because they don't match perfectly. And it's pretty common. Things aren't going to match up perfectly. You'll have to edit the data or in this situation, tell it what matches with what. So we will go back to map manually. We'll still match on column name. We have to refresh this actually. So now we're going to drag over the JSON and we're just telling it name goes to names. We'll do email goes to emails. ID to IDs. Okay, so now we will test. And as you can see, it is 
working again. So now we will take our data back out. We're going to go over something different for your operation. For operation, update row is a pretty common one that you want to use. But there's also this newer one, append or update row. What that means is if it doesn't have a match, it's going to just add it to the end of the data or update, which is the exact same thing we just did. So let's say that we're going to keep everything else the same. Let's say this is just idle and steep. Now, when we hit test step, since the value, Kyle, doesn't match, it's not there anymore, so it's just going to throw it at the end, going to append it. It would be much appreciated if you subscribe. I'm going to be putting out videos every week. Leave a comment down below what you think would be helpful and what you'll learn.